All right. Welcome back for part two of our polygon naming video. I hope you've been keeping track of this in your graphic organizer. If you haven't, make sure you go back in and do this. And I hope you've been looking for some patterns. That's really what we want to be looking at in this. Can we recognize the patterns so that we don't have to do this for every single possible shape so we can figure out how to handle it as we get more and more sides. So we worked in the first video down through heptagon. Hopefully you've got that filled in three, four, five, six, seven. We had three triangles, four triangles, five triangles, 540 degrees, 720 degrees, 900 degrees. We want to pick that up, but not until we make some predictions. So you're going to see in your near plot now, go make a prediction. What do you think is going to be true about the octagon before we jump into it? All right, so over here, the octagon, this is the thing that's really important to those of you learning how to drive because it's what tells you when to stop. Please do that. Okay, it's a good and wise decision. Octagons have eight sides. And they have eight angles. Okay, six, seven, eight. And that prefix oct, meaning eight, it's the same prefix you see with an octopus that has eight arms or whatever those things are called. It's also the same prefix where we get our month October. But what we want to do is try to knock that down into our quadrilateral. So what I'm going to do with these larger shapes, I'm going to create a quadrilateral right in the middle because I know that I can cut that then into two different triangles, both with 180 degrees. What I then see are these two quadrilaterals on the side, and I can do the same thing. There's a triangle. I'll squeeze this in 180, 180, and I'll squeeze this one in down here, 180, 180. Cool thing is, you could be doing this and use different triangles. You might have gone across the middle and gone long ways. It's all the same. It's still going to be six triangles, each with 180 degrees giving us 1,080 total interior degrees. That's the inside angles all add up to that. So go ahead now. We're going to look at this funky looking nine-sided object. Okay. Make a prediction. What do you think is going to happen? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And I want you to notice how... So those angles are getting pretty big. This one, it almost looks like a straight line. It's just a really large angle if we were to use a protractor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine angles. And this one, we don't talk about this as a prefix a lot. It's a nonagon, meaning nine. Okay. The most common place that you see that prefix then is in our month November that up a little bit. November. Okay, that prefix for nine. Um, and we'll try to find up, find out some other words that start there too. I'm not really sure exactly where to start splitting this into triangles, so I'm just going to work my way across. I can make one there. I can make one down here. And hopefully we've known and we figured out how many there should be. And I'll make one over here three, and then I'll make a giant quadrilateral in the middle, split that into two more triangles. Again, you might have done this differently, and then I'll take this quadrilateral up top, and go that way, 180 degrees and 180 degrees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven triangles times 180 going to be 1,260 degrees in the interior. We're going to go with one more here. So take a guess. What do you think is going to happen with 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 sides. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine, ten angles, and ten angles means a decagon 
Sorry, I broke my pencil there. Deca, meaning 10, the same prefix that gets us our word decade that has 10 years. It's also the same prefix for our month, December. Sorry, I went out of view a little bit. And hopefully your guess was that we had eight triangles here. So one over on this side, one over on this side. I'm going to cut here so I can get two triangles up top. Here, so we get two triangles in the middle. And I don't mean to be rushing this, but hopefully you've started to see my patterns here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Decagons have eight triangles at 180 degrees, equal 1,440 total degrees in the interior. Take a moment there, go back to your graphic organizer. Make sure this is all filled in. This last one, this is where we're going to confirm that we know our pattern. This is an n-gon that generically just has n number of sides. How many triangles do you think? How would we calculate that? And can you figure out the formula or the pattern for, number of, for the sum of interior angles? If not, we'll go through that on the next time we're in class. Bring that with you, and we'll see you later.